in FTIR we actually plot wave number then why in IR spectra we need the wave number this is a very important question look here that in order to understand this thing we take the equation of a harmonic oscillator because we are understanding the oscillations of atom we are uh, want to understand in IR spectra the atomic excitations inside a molecule so inside a molecule atoms are attached to each other uh, like two masses attached to a spring so we use the harmonic oscillator equation f equal minus kx where k is the spring constant now we can write f equal ma md square x by dt square minus kx and from this we can derive that the frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi k over m now i can change this equation by dividing this nu by c then this nu by c from this equation that nu by c will be equal to 1 over lambda so 1 over lambda i define as k and this is equal to 1 over 2 pi c k over m now here i will have to change uh, these two values because i want to simplify the calculations so the spring constant is a constant value i multiply it with the avogadro number in order to convert the masses into atomic mass unit and the mass is two atoms means i will be discussing the bonds between two atoms so the mass will be replaced by the reduced mass which is equal to m1 plus m2 by m1 m2 now here k which is having a constant value around 5000 time per centimeter our get number and 1 over 2 pi c they are all constant if i put their constant values then this is equal to 2911 and then 1 over mu so mu i will calculate for example if i will be calculating for carbon carbon bond then i will write the carbon mass carbon mass and then multiply those masses so i will have to multiply with this one in order to get the wave number so a specific wave number can be obtained this way in FTIR spectrum we normally plot from high wave number to lower wave number which is traditional here in this plot we are having the increasing wave number in this direction and the decreasing wave number in this direction now why we will have to plot in wave number the FTIR spectrum this is a typical IR spectrum of a compound and here we can see that different peaks are visible there which are the indications of different bonds here in this compound and if I plot the same spectrum instead of wave number with energy or instead of wave number with wavelength then I will see like this now here we can observe that the peaks which are very broad here have been collapsed here in this region we can see that these two peaks are very wide from each other and they are much space from each other while here they have been collapsed here when we plotted wavelength in centimeter similarly these two peaks are completely not visible here but they are very readable here this shows that by plotting the ir spectra in wave number actually resolves the closely spaced peaks and this is the benefit of doing this thing now we can understand this thing numerically here that in this table if i focus on the cc double bond and the co double bond then if i calculate this thing this bond strength and wave number then i'm having 1660 uh, for carbon carbon and 1720 for carbon oxygen 
so the space between the two is around 60 wave number 60 per centimeter if the same is plotted in meter then it is means the wavelength and the wavelength in meter then it will be 6.02 and 5.81 so this is approximately 1.2 space and if i plot this in centimeter then this will become 600 and this will become 581 so in centimeters they are also closed by around 21 points here now in micrometer they are just 1.2 spaces and if i go and plot them in electron volt in milli electron volt they will be spaced by just seven steps so it is very evident from here that if we will have two peaks corresponding to cc and co they will be almost collapsed in energy r in wavelength while they will be much resolved or the space between them will increase if we plot them in wave number so that's why in ir spectra it is preferred to plot the ir spectra with respect to wave number